Hey, what's up? C Store Secrets in my car again. And I want to talk to you about the science of growing your sales. Um, over the, the past several years, there's been some data out there that talks about new items being, you know, sometimes up to 65% of your sales increase from year to year. So, does that mean you should bring in a bunch of new items every single year? Is that what you should do is just pack your, your C store full of new items every single year so that you can get that 65% bump? Maybe, but that's the point of this video is I wanna to talk to you a little bit about the science of growing your sales and running your C store. You see, as I think about the future and when I'm gonna own my first C store, one of the number one things that I know a lot of, of retailers, sorry, distributors push is planograms. And I think planograms are great, but I think as an individual C store owner, you should always be evaluating the items in your store. For example, a Snickers bar is a great item. It sells, you push it through, you probably rarely if ever have out of dates on it. If you are having out of dates on Snickers, you've got a major problem. But my point is there's 48 in a box. So if I were to run a sales report and look at my overall C store and all the items in it, you know, if there's 48 in a box, that means I need to be averaging at least one a week for it to not be going out of date. You know, the typically candy has a pretty long shelf life. But am I really good with one Snickers bar a week? Now again, take away the fact that Snickers is one of the best sellers. Just think of a candy bar. Let's say 100 grand. 100 grand is, is one that's a really good candy bar, but let's say I'm only selling one of those. I think there's 24 in a box, maybe 18. But let's say I'm only selling one of those a week. Am I okay with that number? That might be a number that I'm not necessarily okay with. Is it hurting me? No, not if it's not going out of date. But as you evaluate your C-Store, you should really look at the items that are in and out of your C-Store and is it worth the retail space? You know, one way that you're gonna grow your sales is you gotta get the right item mix in your store, and it is a science. And I'm a big, big believer in looking at the data that a lot of the distributors are providing. I would guarantee you that your distributors are absolutely trying to put the best items in your C-Store. That's why they do the research, that's why they have category managers. They're not trying to lead you astray in um, how you, what items you put into your C-Store. They want you to sell, because trust me, Distributors don't want to do credits. I mean, they do, it's part of the business, but they'd rather you sell it just like you'd rather you sell it. And so my point is, is taking those planograms from them is absolutely a great idea. But as the C-Store owner, you should evaluate your categories. You should look at those sales and find that perfect item mix for your location. Now, once again, it is a science and it does require that you look at it. And, and like I say, as I get my first C-Store, I'm gonna heavily rely, especially over the first couple quarters that I own it, on that data. Does this item warrant the space so that as those boxes come down, you know, the more high movers I can get, the better. And so, there are lost leaders, as they might call them. There are items that you gotta have, you know you gotta have, you know you got that one or two customers that's gonna come in. For me, you know, hot tamales and hundred grands, those are my two favorites and they're hard to find. When I find them, I buy them. And so there are those items out there that are kind of the tweener. But the science of growing your sales comes down to how much are you truly evaluating the items going in and out of your C-Store? Are you running reports? Are you looking at them by category? Are you looking at profit? Are you looking at these things? And as I continue to help C-Store owners evaluate their business and grow their profits, one thing that I'm gonna start talking about and, and telling these retailers is, is get these reports and look at your sales data. Look at what your numbers are doing and evaluate those items because there comes a point as you transition from a stage one C store to a stage two C store to a finally a stage three C store, you've got to learn to, to get the product mix and get your C store in that perfect shape. 
You know, I've talked about this before with a stage one C store, you know, we're taking care of the basics. We're making sure your store is clean. We're making sure it's organized. We're making sure it's stocked. We're making sure it's those things. As we move to stage two, we're investing into our C store and evaluating our C store just a little bit. And then into stage three is where you're really looking at the technology and the science and you're really getting into, okay, I'm doing all the stage one, stage two things. I've, I've got my C store in perfect shape as far as I, have, I shouldn't get any objections from any type of customer that's coming in, but now how do I maximize sales while minimizing dead items and minimizing my credits and minimizing out of dates? How do I do that? Um, and, and so that's what I want for all of you guys as a C-Store owner, and that's, what I, that's why I wanna work with you. I wanna share these ideas with you, and I wanna pick your brain, you to pick mine, and let's just make this industry better. Let's make it to where it's no longer a price-driven industry. And, and, and it may not happen. It may not happen in my lifetime. But that's one thing that I hate about the C-Store industry is it's a lot of C-Store owners, and I asked this in a Facebook group the other day, what's more important, price or profit? And there were still people, quite a few, saying price. And I get it, you wanna have a competitive price, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about those people that wanna milk you for every penny, those C-Store owners, maybe this is you, that wants to milk your distributor for every penny. Well, at the end of the day, I'm seeing a lot of C-Store owners milking for pennies that aren't even cleaning their store. So all you're doing is you're stretching, trying to find profit, and you're not increasing your sales, which is where the bulk of your profitability is gonna be. But, you know, just to stick with what I'm talking about here in this video, have you looked at the science of your C-Store? Are you bringing in new items to help boost your sales every year? And what are you taking out? What are you deleting? Because in my opinion, you know, you should be bringing new items in. I should, I'd be looking at new items every month but you should also be looking at getting rid of items that aren't moving so that you can replace that, keep that cycle going, and keep fresh items coming in. So, again, just wanted to spark some thought with you. Just wanted to make you think for just a second on how you can increase your sales, how you can grow your business, and how you can make more money. So think about the science of your C-Store. How scientific are you being about growing sales and profitability in your C-Store? I'll see you on the next video.